Del Paso police are investigating a stabbing that left one victim critically hurt. The stabbing happened on the 11,000 block of Sean Haggerty Drive. The crimes against persons investigators were called to the scene before 11 p.m. last night. No other information was provided, and at this point, police have not said if they've made any arrests. No word on what led to that attack. El Paso restaurants have endured a tumultuous year with rolling closures, capacity restrictions, and at times a ban on in-person dining. But this Mother's Day, owners welcome back families with no capacity restrictions. Things, again, not completely back to normal, but feeling a lot more normal than you did last year. AB7's Rachel Phillips was at different restaurants all afternoon looking at the difference a year makes. Kate and JC, most restaurants we visited today were buzzing with people all out for one reason, to celebrate mum. This holiday also marks a return to normalcy or at least a new sense of new normal. This Mother's Day, restaurants were alight with people. It, it is very nice. It's, it feels a lot more normal. Uh, it feels better to see people out and about um, coming out to eat. Last Mother's Day, Cozy was still busy, but they were mainly limited to takeout orders. This time around, they were able to fill out the restaurant and have the teppanyaki take center stage. It isn't as insane as it used to be, but it compared to last year, it is so many times better. And Cozy wasn't the only restaurant that saw a better turnout this Mother's Day. Mother's Day this year was really busy. It was a full house from 9.30 pretty much till closing time for brunch. Last time Mother's Day, it's close. This year it's a lot better. I'm happy with the people It's here, customer, friends, and the family. You can share time with the people. It's very good. Mi Piachi is usually closed Sundays but decided to open for Mother's Day anyway. And they added a bright and floating touch to their decor to spread the joy. A little bit uh, happy, share with the rest of the people. Despite the happiness shared this Mother's Day and the bustling restaurants, some are still struggling to meet the rising demand of customers. This past week are limited. 60% or more where I don't have enough employee for open full uh, restaurant. The owner of Mi Piachi told me they actually had to turn down some Mother's Day reservations. I can manage so much people. Others had the same struggle but luckily were able to call in the backup. Hi, bro. We, we are understaffed. Um, it is actually very hard to maintain a staff. Uh, we are constantly trying to hire new people. Luckily, we've had a lot of ex-employees who have been willing to help out. In JC, it's a trend we've been seeing for weeks now. Restaurants struggling to meet the demand of customers. But hey, at least the lack of employees didn't get in the way of so many families getting out there and celebrating Mother's Day and making sure they feel special. To all the mums out there and to my mum, happy Mother's Day. I hope you had a great day. Reporting live from near downtown, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.